um, for the past couple days, I was trying to do some secure, secure some space for my chicken because what happened? This little wire. When I first put it up, that's how the dog get underneath it. Um, they, it's it's very flexy. They will go underneath it, and then you know the chicken friendly. Then they will yuck the chicken from under. So, and the result of that, I lose a few of my chicken. So today, I'm trying to create some safety. Last week, I did this. I put this piece of board to the bottom and um, straight down and I put that piece of fence up and I also have some work to do inside the coop because when it rains, the coop is get really messy and water is settled there. So I'm going to try see if I could use some pallet to raise it up. But you know, chicken leg to scratch so i can see how i what i could come up with so today i gonna i have this piece of wood um i still ain't feel comfortable with the small one within the ground so i want to put this piece right there up um to see what more stop it what more area i could get to secure them but um i know when I reach the end there, I can have to find a piece of wood in the inside so I could nail the this piece in it. But for now, I'm gonna nail this piece in this um two by six in the ground would support the chicken coop. I gonna use this and then go right here and then do it right here. So once I did that, the dog will not be able to you can come on that side yeah. it's called my boom dog would would have less um ways of I'm gonna put two nails in it I'm gonna put one right now yeah. put this one there um With that there, this piece there will be all right. You see, so they have more secure now. So the chicken, the dog will not be able to border them inside there. So I'm gonna secure that side and the other side and the other side next side by the greenhouse. I have a piece of board there also, but I'm gonna put a piece of two by four or two by six. Even a piece of two by ten, the higher sometimes it is, or that piece of plywood with there, I will split it in two. I will um, make it two piece so I could have some secure area for them, and also that will create some shade. If it's hot, they will go under the coop, and then they will get some rest. So, and I have to trying to create something I put these piece of cloth over the coop to you know give them some shade but as you can see they'll have more shade to, you know chicken like they on way where they hang so I'll finish do this area and I will plant some bean and let the bean vine run over the coop, you know, give it some shade, some good vine I will plant. And we'll take it from there. And I will also plant some stuff around it. Might not be now, but as you could see, this whole area there, I could have them play there, but they're going to eat my bananas leaf within the ground there. And I can't have that, so it's hard work. 
and i put these there i think at the last video i did when i um planted these so the chicken being eaten them and i keep adding on more stuff and only banana tree i think the, i did a video before where i showed you the damage done by the chicken it was the result of that only one banana tree now i put on the inside but this one they're gonna create some secure for it so the chicken would not get to the bottom of it that's why you will see that big bin inside the coop i put it there so you know they will have less you know you know think different but you could see they still eat the leaf off the banana tree what is hanging where they could reach it you see so i will use the same wire mesh here and then make it like a fence around the this banana so guys stay tuned as i trying to brainstorm with some more ideas with the chicken and if for those of you that are watching here in Freeport, Nassau, if you have some chicken, I am interested of buying different breeds. So, guys, thank you for watching and be blessed.